So I'm extremely excited to announce Azure Purview, a unified and comprehensive data governance service, which has been shaped by extensive and rich customer engagement and feedback. Azure Purview is data governance reimagined. It helps you maximize the business value of your data by empowering everyone in the organization to find and understand the data that matters to them. Purview also provides rich insights about your data estate at large, providing chief data officers and their teams the critical information they need to effectively govern data use and assess risk. Purview solves the problem of understanding your data estate head on. Purview enables you to build a holistic map of the data assets, including data relationships and lineage across your entire data estate. The best part is Azure Purview provides data source scanning and classification across multi-clouds and hybrid data sources, making populating the data map automatic and covering your entire data estate comprehensively. We talked in the last section about the power of Azure Synapse to integrate and analyze data across operational databases, data lakes, Power BI, and more. Now with Azure Purview, all that data and its lineage is automatically mapped and understood and made available to you. Powered by the data map we just discussed, Azure Purview provides an intuitive data catalog that empowers all the users to search or browse for data using terms they understand. This means technical users can search by technical facets, such as location file type or data type, whereas business users can search using the language of their business domain. Azure Purview enables this by providing a business glossary that enables the creation of a trusted inventory of all business terms and how they relate to data in the map. Gone are the days of manually building, maintaining, and integrating data dictionaries and business ontologies. It's exciting to see customers' overwhelming interest in Azure Purview. Let's talk about one fantastic example. Grundfos is the world's largest water pump manufacturer and partners with the UN to bring portable water to most vulnerable communities around the world. Grundfos uses Azure Purview so they can better understand and use data across their company. They do this by scanning and classifying more than 100 million data assets across operational databases, data lakes, ETL jobs, and over 16,000 Power BI workspaces. All this empowers Gruntfos employees to easily collaborate across the company by publishing and discovering data from the Azure Purview catalog and ensures Gruntfos data officers understand what data exists across the entire organization. This is a foundational piece to furthering Gruntfos's digital transformation, which leads to solutions that scale and truly improves lives. With that, I want to invite Mike Flasco who leads the Azure Purview product team to show you Azure Purview in action. Mike, please take it away. Thanks, Rohan. So we heard how data is one of our most strategic assets, yet three quarters of it still not being analyzed. This is often because it's still too manual and time consuming to understand all the data that we have. This is where Purview comes in. Here we are in the Purview data catalog home screen. This is where your analysts, data engineers, data scientists will come to find the data they need to generate new insights. The Purview catalog empowers you to search across thousands of data sources that contain millions of data assets describing petabytes of data. But let's rewind here a second. How did Purview know about all these data assets? It starts with being able to create a data map, which is a description of all the data assets and their relationships across your data estate. Now, creating a data map in Purview happens in just a few clicks. Let me show you how. Here, in the data sources view, you can see that I've already registered a range of different sources, but let's go ahead and add one more. Here, I can add on-prem through to cloud sources such as Amazon S3, Cosmos DB, SQL Server, Teradata, SAP, Power BI, Synapse, and more. But in this case, I want to register my petabyte size data lake. So let's select the data lake option. Let's ensure we've got the right one. And that's it. Now my lake is registered with Purview. Our next step is to set up scanning. 
This will enable automated data discovery and classification across all the data in our lake. Here we can select a portion of the lake to scan or scan it all. Let's bring it all into view. Here we can select which data types the Purview Scanner will analyze as it makes its way through. We can also add our own data types to describe custom sets if we've got them. Let's leave it all enabled. And here we'll enable automated data classification. Purview supports detecting over 100 different sensitive data types, such as credit card information, government IDs, location data, and more. And if you've got domain or business-specific markers in your data, you can even create custom classification rules to detect those as well. Let's go ahead and leave all of the classifications enabled so we can get the most complete understanding of our data lake. And finally, we can schedule this scan to reoccur or run just one time. Because I want to have an up-to-date understanding of the data in my lake, we'll leave it to reoccur. And that's it. In just a few clicks, we've enabled automated data discovery and classification across all the data in our lake, and all those data assets will automatically be registered with our Purview data map. Now that we've established our Purview data map, let's go ahead and search for some data. For this next section, assume that I'm a data analyst, and I'm trying to find all the relevant data that will help me understand the effects of a recent global marketing campaign that my company's just ran. I'm looking for data such as revenue data, customer data, app signups, web log data, and more. Let's start by searching for revenue data. As I search, I get suggestions and recommendations. As I execute the search, I can see that I get back over 100 results ranked by relevance across a range of different data sources. I could start going through these results, or I can narrow them in by business term, data classification, or data owner. In this case, since we're looking for data about a global marketing campaign, let's narrow into just global revenue data. And here, this first result, revenue by customer, this is starting to look interesting, so let's drill in. At a glance, I get a more detailed description of the data. I can also see the operational state of the data, such as when it was created, as well as when it was last modified. I can see that this table is also confidential because it includes a range of different PII types, such as name and email address. But let's drill in further. Here we can see exactly how the table is made up. It's columns, data types, associated classifications, business context, and more. This looks like interesting data. But before I can start using it in any of my analytics, I need to understand where this data came from. Here in the lineage view, I can see that this table is sourced from our SAP CRM system, a retail database, and a sales database, both of which I recognize from a past project. Now I know I can trust this data. Now the really cool part is I can also look downstream to see all the existing uses of this data that I might be able to reuse. Here I can see there's a campaign analytics Power BI dashboard that's already been created from the data in this table. Let's drill into it to understand it more. Here we are in the dashboard itself. We're looking at the lineage view for this new dashboard, and we can see that this dashboard is made from revenue data, campaign data, customer data, web log data, and more. This is definitely something that I can reuse. Further, I can see that this particular dashboard has a certified endorsement. This means it's a dashboard I can trust. My next step could be to click the Open in Power BI button and get started interacting with the dashboard straight away. Hopefully, this has shown you how the Azure Purview Catalog empowers everybody to quickly find the trusted data they need to generate new business insights. Now, I'd like to switch gears a little bit for data officers. Having a holistic understanding of all the data assets across your map is critical to maximizing the compliant use of data across your organization. Purview provides you a bird's eye view of all the data in your map. This enables you to gain key insights such as the distribution of your data, where data moves, who it's shared with, where sensitive data is, and more. Now in this case, in the assets view, we can see that my data is distributed across on-prem through to cloud sources such as SQL Server, Teradata, Amazon S3, SAP, and more. Next, in the glossary view, I can quickly assess how effectively our subject matter experts are using the Purview Business Glossary to provide the business context associated with all of our data assets. And here, this is a great view for compliance teams. 
at a glance, I can quickly see all the sensitive data we're collecting across our map. For example, here we can see we're collecting a lot of email address data, inventory numbers, credit card data, and even EU GPS coordinates. Now that last one's a bit of a surprise to me. I didn't think we stored that kind of location data. So now I want to zone in and understand exactly where that data is being collected. Let's do it. We'll drill in. We'll find the EU GPS coordinate sensitive data type. And here we can see that the EU GPS data is being collected in exactly two of our Amazon S3 accounts. Now I can consult the data map, follow up with the data source owner, and ensure that this data is part of our privacy by design practices. So that was a brief walkthrough of how Purview empowers you to discover, understand, use, and govern all your data assets. I hope you'll give Purview a try and get started on your own journey towards a complete understanding of your data. Back to you, Rohan.